he started it all and we can all learn from him and love what he gave us as an industry and uh, I know that Vidal will, I know Vidal will always be with us. He always could do the undoable. Um, he always made you believe that what was impossible was actually possible. And he gave you the confidence to believe it in yourself. It wasn't Vidal just telling you to do it, it was Vidal telling you that you could do it. Hairdressers that had heard his name, hairdressers that had worked with him in years past, they, they treated him like he was the Pope, you know, like they would kiss his ring. And uh, Vidal could never understand that. I mean, he was, uh, I don't know if he really truly ever understood the power and the impact that he actually had on the industry because that's what was so special about him. He was so humble. He only expected perfection of himself. And uh, when he did things that were powerful, like working with Katrina, it was always just, if I don't do it, if we don't do it, who will? If not now, when? Hi, my name is Anthony Moscona. Welcome to the library. Uh, I think today has been a, an amazing celebration of Vidal Sassoon's life. So many people that have really been part of his life uh, were here this evening, which is absolutely fantastic. If I can remember one memory, you know, because really I've only got to know Vidal the last four or five years since I've been president of the um, Alternative Hair Show. And basically, it's really the, the bond that we had was going to see Chelsea. And we saw him uh, in London, we went together in uh, the Chelsea ground and I used to go to his house in LA to watch uh, some of the games early in the morning. The last one was when uh, Chelsea beat Tottenham 5-0. Anyway, great to be here, see you soon. I have been a colleague of uh, Vidal for ever. Before I go further, I want to express my condolences to Ronnie and his family. Uh, it, it was unexpected and just terribly sorry to to poof, uh, lose him. And so one day in the morning, I was a guest of Vidal at Madison Avenue, where I was allowed to stand in a shadow and watch him work. At the end of the day, um, when it was time to say goodbye, uh, we, we shook hands. He took off his uh, tie pin, tie clip, which was a pair of golden scissors. Most likely not true gold, but gold they were. And he gave them to me. <laughs> and, wished me and wished me good luck. And I think I've carried that luck with me forever. I was always uh, one of the people, like uh, you know, amongst to the rest of the world, really admiring um, what he has done for the, just in general, for the humanity of hairdressing. Uh, for me, Vidal is the man who has planted the seeds that it will still grow and probably will never die. You know, the funny thing is, is that my memories of Vidal are not actually from a professional point of view. They're not the many, many years, the revolution that he created back in the early 60s. Actually, mine is a friendship with Vidal that's only been in the last kind of four or five years. The Vidal that kind of comes over for dinner and sort of chews the fat and talks about hair. The Vidal that we go shopping, you know, we went to Columbia Road where they kind of treated him like God down there or we go shopping in the East End. So that's the Vidal that I know, the kind of the very humble man that probably belied the whole genius that he really was. He'll be sorely missed. Thanks, Vidal. And I wrote to Vidal and I said, would you be my guest of honour at the Fellowship President's Night Dinner? Yeah. And he said, well, I'll come along. And he said, but I'm really coming along for your dad because I want to I wanna see your dad because your father and I go back right to the beginning when we started our careers. Yeah. It's fantastic. In competition work, um, you know, there was good prize money and uh, that's why we used to go around the country, you know, competing together and that's how I got to know so who, so who won? Did Vidal win or did you win? Who won the competition? Well, he always used to say, I always used to beat him. You used to beat him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was hairdressing. And Vidal did particularly like dressing hair out. He yeah. was a hair cutter. He did precision work. And that's how he changed the whole image in this century of the hairdresser today for the industry and the manufacturers, the conditioners. The whole thing changed.
And then I became an assistant. I personally trained under Vidal. I was his assistant. And uh, what I learned from him, I can't describe. It's, it's so huge. 20, over 20 some years working with him. But he taught me discipline. He taught me caring. He taught me so many wonderful things that I cannot even start to describe what this man really meant to me. He really changed my life forever. Vidal's legacy will exist forever. He had touched so many hearts. And his technique, the way he cut hair and the way he taught hair, I was just very fortunate to be one of them from the original team. Vidal, I love you. Thank you, my friend. God bless. And what really affected me big time was seeing Vidal Sassoon on the set of Rosemary's Baby, the film, cutting Mia Farrow's hair. From that day on, I saw a man who was in total control of what he wanted to do with hair. I wanted to be that man. I wanted to be Vidal Sassoon. I believe every one of us has wanted to be Vidal Sassoon, even if it's only for a moment. But that's how I felt. And that's why I fell in love with hairdressing. Because Vidal gave us a voice, he gave us a thought, he gave us control. He made hairdressing professionally brilliant. Me away. That first Vidal Sassoon course I went on absolutely blew me away. I mean, I could clearly see I had a thousand mountains that I had to climb, which felt exhausting. For the first time in my life, I could see a light at the end of the tunnel. A long way off, admittedly, but uh, it was exhilarating. And that, um, that inspired me, and I spent the next 25 years just trying to get somewhere close to Vidal Sassoon and what he created. So, you know, it was an absolute inspiration to me. I never met the man, but I'll be forever in his gratitude. Vidal installed in me something that no man had ever done. And it was just a certain feel of security where he said, if you have the passion and you have the imagination, go for it. Wherever he walks in, he will light the room up. You know, he'd have that aura around him that you want to be near him, you want to be with him. And his presence on our shows proved to have the biggest standing ovation in front of 6,000 people that lasted 10 minutes. And that memory will last for me forever. That a man could be in, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a venue and he'd just walk on and he'd have a standing ovation for 10 minutes. So I think with Eden now having her own salon, we're going to change that to reach a younger generation to let them know who Vidal is. When we were down there in New Orleans, we did an event one night for serious business. We do a business seminar every year and we decided that it'd be awesome if Fidel was in town, he was actually one of the speakers at the, uh, at the event, and we thought it would be really, really amazing to have hairdressers that were influenced by Fidel. So I got on the phone, I started calling all these people, and it was incredible. We had Fidel Sassoon sitting in the front row, we had Robert Labetta, Vivian McKinder, Antoinette Benders, Nick Orojo, Tim Hartley, Van Council, and Christian, the famous freelance hairdresser. And to watch them all get on stage, and it, I mean, these guys are icons in the business, right? To see them sweating and shaking was just, it was actually, it was kind of fun to watch. And then to watch Vidal watch them do haircuts. And they were all supposed to do a version of Vidal Sassoon haircuts. And it was a night that no one will ever forget. And it was just an exciting experience to be a part of. I will admire all my life Vidal. And I will remember all my life Vidal Sassoon because I lose it, a friend and our profession, we lose it, a number one, Vidal.